Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing cinematic look in Lightroom. Basically turning this image into this image, wherever they turn up. Theme tune. Okay, so it seems weird to make a cinematic image, as cinema is a moving picture, but they have this amazing feeling with the shallow depth of field and the color grading and all of those things. And amazingly, you can create an image in Lightroom like that in just a few steps. So let's jump in and I'll show you how to do it. So today we're gonna to be using this photograph of Rosie White of Dance Lovely fame. And we're gonna be turning it into a great cinematic image. So let's start over this side here and let's see what we need to do. So uh, for this image, I mean, I think it looks great as it is, but for a cinematic feel, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna knock those shadows down a little bit and the highlights down a little bit, like so. And we might even drop down the black. So you wanna just pull it back that little bit. We're also gonna boost the contrast up a hair, but not too much. Okay, so let's come down here. Now the next thing I'm going to work on is the HSL, okay? So what we want to do here is knock the saturation down, but we do it slightly different for each thing. So the blue saturation, for example, we're gonna pull down a little bit extra, and we're gonna take the magentas and the reds up like so. So it's gonna look something like this in the end. And then the luminance, okay, so this is how bright things feel. The blues, again, we're gonna pull the blues down and the greens down, okay, like so. And we're going to actually pull down the skin tones just a hair as well, but the magentas and stuff we're gonna leave up a little bit, so it's gonna look a little bit like this is gonna look great. And then for the actual colors, the blue and greens here, so you can see as we're moving these, we wanna keep these in the darker side, okay, towards the purple a little bit, and especially the green one here, we want to, or aqua, move it towards the blue, okay? Everything else can stay where it is. And if we turn this on and off, you can see it affects the image in a very specific way, okay? And it kind of dumbs down, it mutes the colors a little bit, which is awesome. So the next thing we're going to look at is the tone curve. Now, cinema has this blue and magenta -y feel usually, so let's create that partly using the tone curve. So we're gonna click in the bottom corner here, and that's gonna allow me to do my different channels separately. So first of all, we're gonna add a little bit of a film tone to this. So that what that means is, often what happens is, you wanna crush those blacks a little bit. So you wanna just, not that amount, because that looks weird, but just going to pull this out just a little bit like this. And what we're also gonna do is we're gonna pull it down a little and then flatten it back out here somewhere in the middle. Oh, let's lift this up actually. So I'm kind of happy around this. You see how this has got an extra contrast? Well, it's reducing the contrast. I want to lift this up a little bit. Okay, we don't want to go too far with this, okay? In fact, I'm going to delete this control point by just right-clicking on a control point. You can delete it like so. You ready? There you go. You can just delete it. I'm going to pull that back in though. Okay, now what we want to do is add in some extra blue. Okay, so I'm gonna lift the blue up here in the highlights and in the shadows, I'm going to lift it up even more in the shadows. That's starting to look great. Now, the greens, I'm going to reduce just a tiny little bit like so. And also the reds, I'm gonna pull those back, but only in the highlights. So if we pull those back and then drop it back in, it's way too much though just like so. So let's have a look at the before and the after. It's already starting to get this great cinematic feel. Now the next thing we're going to do is split toning, okay? So what's important here is the two different colors that we're going to use. So first of all, we're gonna use a blue hue in the highlights, okay? So you can see here, we're gonna add in the blue into the highlights and then the shadows, okay, we're kind of not doing what's happened up there and we're gonna lift up Actually, we're gonna, f we're gonna add, sorry, not yellows, uh, magentas, okay, into the shadows, like so. 
Let's pull that back just a little bit and we'll boost this one and we're gonna move it all towards the highlights like so. Now we're starting to get this great cinematic feel. We're lacking some focus, okay, and some depth to this image. So for that, we come into the radial filter and we're gonna go around the subject like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring down the exposure, make sure the mask is not inverted, okay? And we're gonna make it nice and soft on the feather, on that, it's not, not we don't wanna make her disappear, you know? We don't wanna to go too far, like so. And then what we're actually gonna do as well is I'm gonna hit the brush tool at the top here, hit a raise, okay? Because what I really want to do is or is make sure that we're not actually losing her in any of it. There you go, now that looks really great. I kind of like the way that that looks. We're also going to pull down the sharpness and the clarity of hair, okay? It's gonna blur off those edges a little bit too, okay? That's starting to look good. I think I've knocked it down a little bit too much. So let's set it there. Now, the next thing to really make it cinematic and that's to add in your letterboxes. So to do that, it's really simple. All you do is you take one of these, which is a gradiated gradual filter, and then you're gonna basically, so let's make a gradient at first, okay? Now to make this square, you hit shift and then drop it, and that's gonna keep it in a perfect line. And all you're gonna do here, exposure, contrast up, and every single other one you're gonna pull backwards. Now the other one that you want to do is dehaze all the way up. And then everything else you're just gonna, it doesn't really matter what you do with it, okay? And then by holding shift and dragging up, you're gonna drag this until it is right on the line. There you go. So now we've created this great bar, okay? So all we're going to do now is duplicate this, duplicate, and then all we have to do is you're gonna, so if we come in on this, okay, let's come into the bar. What you wanna do, you wanna flip it so that it's on the other side, like so. Great. So now when we come back out, okay, now we're st having the bars. So let's place these bars how we want them. So I want the bar to be here and we need the same distance at the top. And that's what makes it look real. Okay, so the same distance at the top, something like that, a little bit more, I think. And at the bottom, we're actually gonna go in a little bit more. We wanna keep your feet in it. And actually, that now looks fantastic. And now it's got this rich, cinematic feel. Now, what I do want to do, I wanna boost the contrast up a little tiny bit more, but what I also want to do is I want to darken the whole image to really make it a little richer. So I'm gonna come back into tone curve and I'm gonna come back to the RGB and I am gonna pull the middle section down just a little. And now, if we look at the beginning, before and after, this is a great cinematic feel. So that's how you create a cinematic image in Lightroom in just a few steps. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe because I've got loads more tutorials coming. My name's Ed Gregory from photosincolor.com. Be sure to check us out. Me out. It's just me. Just check me out. I don't know. Theme tune. Shut up. <laughs>